Prevail is a new security technology that combines strong security with ease of use. To better understand what Prevail is, let me contrast it with state-of-the-art solutions. Most systems today do to protect sensitive data is they try to build walls around it, such as access control, firewalls, all in the hope of preventing an attacker from breaking in and accessing the data. Many companies use SSL encryption to secure the channel between the client and the server. But as soon as the data arrives at the server, it gets decrypted. So if an attacker breaks in, the attacker gets access to the data and to the key. In order to build a system that provides end-to-end -end encryption, Prevail had to design its architecture from the ground up to assume no access to the data at the server. In Prevail, we assume that an attacker has already broken in and has gotten access to the data. So in Prevail, we always keep the data at the server encrypted. And we never give the decryption key to the server. So even if an attacker breaks in and gets access to all of this data, they can only see encrypted data, which is useless. I will now explain Prevail's techniques for granting access control, which are called key graph and wrapped keys. Consider that we have three users, Alice, Bob and Chris. Alice and Bob have access to a folder called family that has some document. Then Bob and Chris work together and they have access to the folder work, which contains a document with sensitive information about their company. The way Prevail enforces this access control is through a graph of keys. First, every node has its own key. These documents are encrypted with the respective keys and stored encrypted at the server. For example, document 1 is encrypted with key 1. But the question is, where is key 1? It would be convenient to store it at the server so that when Alice and Bob come online, they can access it. Especially if Alice just created this document, how would Bob otherwise get to the key? Maybe Alice is not online when he comes online. For this, we use wrapped keys. In a wrapped key, the server stores an encryption of the key. So we encrypt K1 under the key for the family. And this is safe to do because we're not storing the key decrypted at the server, we're storing it encrypted so the server doesn't actually see it. So now when Alice comes online, how does she get access to this document? Well, she downloads the various relevant pieces of information, which are these. She uses Alice's key, her key, to obtain the key for the family by decrypting this quantity. Okay, so she can obtain key for the family. Then she uses the key for the family to decrypt K1. And with K1, she can finally decrypt document one. So in this way, Alice was able to get access to her document. Prevail integrates in the way users are used to using services today. For example, a user can still use the Outlook client on Windows or the Mail client of Apple. A fun feature of Prevail is that it does not use passwords. Passwords should be avoided because they're a burden to use for the users and that users end up using insecurely. Prevail's keys are long, random cryptographic strings. They're much longer than a password, which makes it practically impossible for anyone to guess a user's private key by chance. If you lose your laptop, which contains your decryption key, you might still want to be able to get access to your data at the end of the day. Prevail addresses this problem by introducing the concept of approval groups. Suppose that I have a secret key that I want to share among three of my friends as the approval group. And I want to require that any two of those three friends can help me get my key back in case I lose it. By placing my secret key on the y-axis, I'm gonna pick a random line going through that key point. If any two of my friends get together, they can take their two points, draw a line through them, and wherever that line meets the y-axis indicates to them what my key is. So by using this Shamir secret sharing construction, Prevail's approval groups allow me to allow any quorum of my friends to reconstruct my key in case I lose it. But unless a quorum is established and all of them agree to get my key back, they have no idea what my key is.